Do you want to take facade inspections? Do you want to automate the inspections that you do and also have them automatically fly over time? In today's video, I'm going to do an example facade inspection with a DJI Air 3S and on the side of a building and we're going to create a 3D model as well as take a bunch of pictures based off that. We're also going to attempt to automate this using Waypoint Map, the automatic mission planner for all the modern DJI drones, and we're going to also throw that into aerial model and create a 3D model. All this stuff, all the tools here, at least on the surface, are free for what you're probably going to do in the context of facade inspection. So starting off, let's jump over and let's try to plan a mission to see what that looks like, see if that's practical for you and the kind of work that you're doing. Okay, so now we are going to try and basically go through and do a facade inspection here along this wall. Now, Waypoint Map has a number of different tools. I'm going to try to automate this, and then if this doesn't work out, I'm also going to go through and just manually fly it. So I'm going to fly it a good bit away, but this is about three or so meters off the wall here. So, so probably closer, yeah. Four, four or so meters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start by individually editing each of these points. So real quick, I'm going to save you all some time. Um, I practically don't think that this is doable. I mean, if you were trying to create this mission in the built-in like RC or the DJI Flies waypoint system, that's a joke. And even on the computer, I think in order to get this like properly configured, it took me like 10 minutes. It's not practical. If you wanted to create a 3D model of this building, you could have done that in like under 30 seconds. But the idea of actually trying to do a facade inspection, especially with trying to guess, hey, is this a light pole? Is this a tree? Do I need to have this walk, you know, be so much from the tree? How high is the tree? There's a lot of questions that gets raised when you're trying to just look at a map. And this is stuff that even Google Maps data isn't really practical so you'd have to either go out there measure the tree see how high the trees are and then from that figure out like you know set the points and stuff it just gets extremely cumbersome so the best strategy honestly is just to go through and manually do this i can tell you that from now i'll tell you it again um, if you want to use waypoint map to make like a 3d model of this building and have it fly like 60 meters in the air and fly it around a couple times you'll get a rather good 3d model but since this since this video is strictly about facades and i have a whole bunch of other videos about making 3d models with all the different drones and how great that is this specific case i don't think is practical and as you can see i'm spending a considerable amount of time trying to tweak everything and even then this actually this flight plan won't be usable but that's a little uh little sneak peek to later <laughs> Okay, so we have our fully planned flight plan here. This will go through, inspect this automatically for us, capture a bunch of pictures, and then we should be able to load those pictures up into aerial model and get a actual usable model of this as well. So we can do our um, fully automated mission here, and then uh, each of these points is ready to go. And then we'll uh, go fly this mission real quick, and we'll also do a little bit of inspection there as well. So here are a couple pairs of ND filters from Freewall, and these are not specifically are polarizing, but if you wanted to get some polarizing ND filters, especially if you were looking at reflections from some of the windows that you would be maybe taking a scan of or taking some inspections of, you may want to consider getting polarizing ND filters because they will help you cancel out the reflections from the windows. That will actually allow you to get a little bit better quality models. However, these ND filters specifically are just good for taking long exposure pictures in daytime so that way you can capture some movement. So there are some important things that we also need to take into account when we're flying our drone. Because facade inspections are so close to the drone, even if it's fully automated with some type of waypoint system, there's a lot that can go wrong. And to demonstrate this, I want to show you what can happen when you set a waypoint in a certain spot, and then after a couple minutes, you try to have the drone come back to the same spot. It's going to often have some type of GPS error, and therefore kind of be off from where you originally set it. Why this is especially difficult is if you're doing a facade inspection, that can be the difference between being on the wall, in the wall, or off the wall. So just keep in mind whenever you start automating your mission, specifically automating a mission for a facade inspection, that you are very careful about how much error actually exists. So what I'm going to do now is have this drone take off. And we're going to set this waypoint roughly over the same spot that it took off. 
and then I'm going to give it a little bit, fly it around for a second, and then attempt to have the drone return to this point. Okay. So we got some points here. So for context, the drone was roughly about here. Probably should not have chosen white shoes. So we're going to have the drone now come to this waypoint. And in theory, it should basically come to right above where I'm at. And instead, it is going over there. So just, just for context, uh, it stopped because it detected the obstacle of the bush over here. So the, as you can see, I clearly set the waypoint in a position in which it was safe to travel, and I didn't go through the bush at all, yet now the waypoint is physically in the bush, just because of GPS error and kind of this environment. So as you can see, that kind of just shows the GPS error. The drone attempted to come back in a place that wasn't possible. It tried going into the bush, even though we physically set the waypoint not in the bush. And that just shows like how much GPS error can really happen. From here to well in the bush is easily maybe two, three meters. And that was just in the course of flying off somewhere and coming back. So only imagine if you pre-plan this mission, even if you set the waypoints properly, even if you assume that the waypoint map data is correct, and that the position that you're looking at is this actual position, even if you set the, your own waypoints manually, you have a lot of it potential for error here. And especially if this is, for example, the surface of the building, I know it's a bush, but this is the surface of the building. And even if you set all your waypoints, the drone the next time around, or even when you start the mission, might assume that the building itself is actually where it's supposed to go. Now, yes, this drone has obstacle avoidance, Especially because, for example, this bush here, that's got a lot of thin twigs. And if you notice, the drone did not attempt to use its front-facing LiDAR to detect it. It used the side ops avoidance sensors. So it really just shows that, you know, maybe you're looking at a building that, I don't know, is kind of got some gates or some fences or some, like, thin metal fences or maybe some thing thin wires or strings or anything like that. When you get too close to a building, especially if you're trying to run an automated mission, a lot of bad things can happen. The reason why everyone likes, well, using like waypoint map for model, model capture is because it's high in the air and it really is hands off. This requires a lot more attention. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go hop over and we are going to go scan, do a facade inspection manually, probably. Um, I even looked and I noticed that there are some obstacles that I wasn't even aware of when I was originally planning for Waypoint Map. There's a big metal post for a light pole in the way. So it's really hard to pre-plan your mission, especially using like Waypoint Map or any automated tools, just because of how much potential, as you saw, error here, and then things you get there and you don't even see. So I'm going to load everything up. Let's get going. So first up, I went through and did a high level pass from a rather large distance. And again, I flew this all manually. I used the time shots feature in order to get the best um, accuracy. So I wasn't actually having to manually take all the pictures. And so I started out with a far view and then I switched to getting a little closer. As you can see, there are a lot of trees with a lot of thin twigs. So I was being very careful and doing this automated, especially in the winter is realistically a recipe for disaster i'd say if i had done this automated it would have crashed at least at one point so i definitely like to be able to go through and do this so now i'm doing my close pass so i'm doing a perpendicular pass the whole way through and i'm trying to capture the whole building there and then i'm also going to switch to kind of like a 45 degree angle as i go through and complete each pass and i'm going to do a 45 each direction to kind of capture those 3d details and then that way i have a really good facade you also could go through and combine these images I think realistically though, creating the 3D model, you're going to get most of the detail. And then if there's an area of concern, you can just go through and take a look at that individual image. So here are the final results. We can go through and kind of browse through this and take a look. So again, I focus strictly on this one wall and also strictly trying to capture as much detail as possible. There was a tree over here, but overall you can actually get down to a really granular level and see places in which there is some like issues. Like you got some water, you got some type of like growth here. 
you have a little bit of rust you definitely have some rust over here so there is a number of things that you can kind of pick out from this and then you can kind of present this to the client and say hey like look at how much this has changed time after time as you go through and do this on a regular basis overall I think this is definitely good for capturing the high detail that you'll need on a facade inspection. I think going through and having a large overhead model would get most of this detail, but I do think this is a substantial increase. Um, this was rather difficult to fly, and this was one of the few buildings in the area that has a long, relatively flat area as well. So if you wanted to go through and actually take maybe a facade of a building that's kind of curved it's got some angles and stuff it's going to be a lot of work to get as close as you need to to pick up this detail to be able to pick out like these rust streaks and stuff like that while also automating i think practically on like a realistic basis you might spend more time tweaking the flight plan and going back and forth especially since you're flying so low than you actually would just flying the mission outright um, as much as you know hey i wrote waypoint map i'd love you for you to use that but like, it's just not practical. Um, and I think, you know, recommending people something that isn't practical, usable, or realistic is not cool. Now, if you really want to support me, you can use area model uh, to make your models. But um, I think waypoint map itself is not a good call, at least for facades. You're going to have to do that manually. And the only way that you're going to be able to realistically get a drone that can do facade inspections the granularity that we need here is if you build something custom because dji doesn't allow for an sdk so you can't even get any of that sensor data accessible so it's not like you could even write some custom script or anything to run on the drone either you'd have to get your own custom drone so if you're doing this just on a regular dji drone i would say your best bet is probably just going to be to fly it manually